So this video is going to show one of the most common features people expect and use in their data grids, and that is column filters. And as you'd expect, the adaptable blotter offers a very rich range of column filter functionality. And like all our functions, we offer a little bit more and something more exciting and intuitive than you get from your usual data grid. So how do column filters work in the adaptable blotter? Well, let's start with a simple um, string, text column. And if you go into a filter, as you can imagine, you can see all the distinct values and then you can filter on one or more. So in this case, we filtered on a UR GBP USD and we only see the values that match. Um, and you can do the same for any column you want. However, additionally, we also offer the ability for you to create your own ranges. So for instance, um, let's take the change in year column, as well as being able to filter on the distinct values in the column and on a few um, sort of user filters we give you, you can create your own dynamic range. So for instance, you can say you only want to see values which are between 10 and 100 and there you are that's, that's that's working for you and that works for all columns so let's get let's put a date column at the uh, beginning so we can see it let's find trade date let's stick it at the top there we are so now if we go into the trade date column we can do the same things as well as seeing all the distinct values as well as seeing some of the filters that we give you out of the box you can also say I want to see anything which happened before and then you can create a date from the drop down, I don't know, the 20th of February, and there's your filter. But often, if you want to use the same filter um, repeatedly, um, it's a bit of a pain to have to keep going into the column filter and to create that filter each and every time. So the Adaptable Blotter offers a very exciting piece of functionality called user filters. So let's see how that works. So let's now go back into our currency column, but instead of creating a filter, Let's create a user filter and let's say we want to see EUR GBP USD. That's the name of our filter. We'll call that top currencies. And now when I go back into my currency column in filters, you can see top currencies appears here as a filter. And again, you can do the same with our change on year. So we can go into change on year. We can create a user filter. And we can say we want it to be between 1 and 100. We give that a name. Nice descriptive name. There's the two user filters we've created. And now back into change on year. If I go into the filter column, there's my between 1 and 100. But the other nice thing about these user filters is that you can use them not purely in the filter dropdown, but you can use them actually anywhere in the adaptable blotter. So you can search on them, you can create rules on them. So let's, for instance, create a conditional style. Let's um, make it very distinctive. So let's say we want the back color to be purple. And then we're going to create a condition. And then we can use the two user filters we created earlier. So we can say the currency has to be top currencies. And we can say the change on year has to be between 1 and 100. And then when we finish, we can see any rows that match that condition automatically get styled like that. So there we are, column filters, the ability in any column to choose distinct values, your own filters, a custom range, or a user filter. Very, very powerful and intuitive functionality. Thank you for watching.